let us have a discussion on blueprint of our senior intermediate physics that is second year physics so in our senior intermediate physics the first chapter is waves so which has a weightage of 8 marks so we are going to get directly one long answer type question from our waves for second chapter in our senior intermediate physics that is ray optics and optical instruments so we are going to expect one very short answer type question one short answer type question and no LAQ. So the total weightage of this second chapter is 6 marks. Or third chapter that is wave optics. So uh, the weightage of this chapter is 4 marks. Directly we are going to expect only one SAQ, no VSAQ and no LAQ. So fourth chapter, electric charges and fields. So from our fourth chapter we are going to get only one SAQ, no VSAQ and no LAQ. So the total weightage of our fourth chapter is four marks. Fifth chapter, that is electrostatic potential and capacitance. So the weightage of fifth chapter is four marks. We are going to get directly one short answer type question, no VSAQ and no LAQ. The sixth chapter in our senior intermediate physics, that is current electricity. We are going to get directly one LAQ, no SAQ and no VSAQ. The total weightage of this sixth chapter is eight marks. So seventh chapter, moving charges and magnetism, which has a weightage of six marks, which means we are going to get directly one very short answer type question, one SAQ and no LAQ. Eighth chapter, magnetism and matter, which has weightage of four marks, which means this eighth lesson is very important for two marks directly. We are going to get two VSAQs from our eighth chapter, no SAQ and no LAQ. Ninth chapter, that is electromagnetic induction. The weightage of this ninth chapter is 4 marks which means directly we are going to expect one SAQ, no VSAQ and no LAQ. 10th chapter, alternating currents or AC which means the weightage of this chapter is 2 marks which means we directly we are going to get one very short answer type question, no SAQ and no LAQ. So 11th chapter that is electromagnetic waves which has weightage of 2 marks and we are going to expect one very short answer type question, no SAQ and no LAQ. 12th chapter that is dual nature of radiation and matter which has a weightage of 4 marks which means this lesson is very important for very short answer type question which means we are going to expect two very short answer type question and no SAQ and no LAQ. 13th chapter that is atoms which has a weightage of 4 marks again directly we are going to expect only one short answer type question no VSAQ and no LAQ. 14th chapter that is nuclei which has a weightage of 8 marks which means this lesson is very important for your LAQ, no SAQ and no VSAQ. 15th chapter, semiconductor electronics, which has a weightage of 6 marks again, which means this chapter is very important for 1 VSAQ, 1 SAQ and no LAQ. The last chapter in our senior interphysics that is communication systems, which has a weightage of 2 marks, which means we are going to expect one very short answer type question from your 16th chapter no SAQ and no VSAQ. So this is a blueprint of our senior interphysics. So those lessons which are important for LAQs, that means long answer type question, they are waves, current electricity and nuclear. From these three lessons, we are going to expect directly eight marks question or LAQs. So these three chapters are very important for your LAQs. 